Hey, folks. Got some of these UV5Rs. I'm going to show you how to double the range on these. We're going to make a repeater. Hang on. Orlando Prepper coming at you again. Like I said, we're going to make a repeater for your UV5R radios. Or any radio, if you if you operate these off GMRS channels, which you're not supposed to do. You can also get GMRS radios that will work on the same frequencies. I'm not saying you should do that. All right. But let's go on. I don't use GMRS frequencies on my radios. So I think legally I'm protected here. But what we got to do is connect these two radios together. Use one for a receiver, one for a transmitter. Now they make a box you can buy. Baofeng actually makes these and sells them. So you can just hook them right into your radio. You know, right where your program cable would go or your microphone. And just plugs right into the side of the radio. If I can get this, there we go. Just like that. Just plugs right in. But the problem I had with this, once I hooked this up, my radio was constantly transmitting. It wouldn't stop transmitting. I don't know what caused that. I'm not an electrician. But I'm a pretty smart guy, so I figured something out. Get you, you can buy an audio cable with a 3.5 millimeter end on one end and a 2.5 on the other and connect it between these radios and it'll work but you have to you can't just connect it right out of the box you have to cut that in half and do a crossover on those cables take the black wire on one and cross it over to the red wire on the other it don't matter which way you do it just as long as you do it there's a white wire inside there as well. But don't worry about that. You can connect it to either one of these wires you've put together. Or you can just leave it disconnected. It don't matter. And you make you one wire like this. You just crossed over that circuitry in the middle. So let me hook these up and show you what we're going to do here. Okay, as you can see, the wire is running between the radios. Going to be careful here because this is still an open circuit. But your 2.5 millimeter end goes into the receiving radio. The 3.5 millimeter end goes into the transmitting radio. Now, I have a third radio here that's going to represent one of the radios you'd have in the field. It would be programmed for that. We're going to go over the programming here a little bit later. Plus, I'm going to put all the information down in the description below. So, now when I push this button and talk, you're going to hear a radio. It's not either one of these, and it's definitely not the one I'm talking into. It's one I have sitting in the next room. So, I'm going to turn this mic around. Hopefully, it'll pick up better when I transmit here. So, let's see what we got. Test. One, two, three. Yeah, what you heard was that other radio out in the den. As you can see, the radio that received turned blue. The one that transmitted turned orange. But if you turn either one of these off, the system don't work. You won't hear anything other than me talking in the, into this microphone. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. You can see it receiving, but it's not transmitting. Same thing. You didn't hear it come from the one in the other room. It would be the same thing if you turned off the receiving radio and left the transmitting radio on. So we don't have to go through all that. But what we're going to do, we're going to put all this in a nice little box. You see what we have? Just a little ammo can, a little plastic ammo can. I have three eighths inch holes drilled in the top and the center. One inch from each end. Because we're going to put those radios in here. It's going to fit nice and tight. And it's practically waterproof. So let's get it going here. 
We're going to take that first radio and we're going to put it right in here. Like that. Take that second radio and put it right there. Like that. And we're going to put that wire in there with it. Whoops. And we're going to shut this thing down. The top should be good and tight like that. Because the way those holes fit over the antennas, the antenna actually gets wider from the top down. And when you get to that 3 8 inch mark on those antennas, those holes seal around it great. So there it is. There's your repeater. You can put it outside. You can put it on your roof. You know, you can put a, put a line on this, throw it up over a tree limb, raise it up over your house, get it up over your roof line, and that'll give you a little better line of sight transmission between base camp and the field radios. But you can also use a solar charger on these to keep them charged. You can leave it there forever. If you have the extended life batteries with the connection where you can plug it straight in. Not going to get into that this time. It's going to be a future video. But if you want to build one of these and you have any kind of trouble, shoot me an email. TheOrlandoPrepper at gmail.com I'll be glad to help you out. And like I said earlier, your frequencies and radio settings are down in the description below. If you don't know how to program a bail frame radio, there's a hundred videos out there that shows you how. It's simple. That's why I'm not walking you through it here. I'm trying to keep this video short. It's probably already longer than I want it to be. Just use those numbers below. Hook it up the way I showed you. You won't have any problem at all. If this helped you out any, give me a thumbs up. YouTube really likes that. I appreciate it. Leave a comment below. You know, if you don't say anything but comment for algorithm. That'll work. It helps me out. It really does. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to say stay strong. Stay patriotic to our founding principles. Pray for the United States of America. The Orlando Prepper is out.